Okay, so today is Saturday. It's a little bit over 4.45 right now. I'm about to head out in just a couple minutes, but I wanted to just start this video off with uh, a new kind of way that I want to start my long runs. Today is my long run. I have 20 miles this morning, but I actually picked up some new running shoes. I recently just got these. So you can see them. They're the Hoka Mach 5s. Um, I've been hearing a lot of good reviews on them, so I picked those up yesterday and I'm going to be using them today on my long run since uh, I've been hearing they're good for like easy runs, easy long runs and just easy runs in general, so I picked those up and I'm going to try them out today. I'm really looking forward to that and one thing that I'm switching up as far as doing a long run, I am going to have a piece of bread right now, just, I'm just gonna eat half, just cause I'm a little bit scared, honestly, to have an upset stomach or something, so I'm gonna have a piece of bread and see how my body takes that in, uh, since I do have uh, a really long run this morning, and I'm still gonna take my do two gel packs, and hopefully I, it's not anything crazy today as far as the 20 miles, just a consistent, easy run throughout the whole thing so it should be pretty pretty easy um nothing nothing exciting but i'll check back in in a little bit and let you guys know how that goes and just yeah i'll see you in the next one all right so i still have a couple minutes before i have to go but I kind of wanted to just talk a little bit about life in general it's it's been pretty busy I've been working a lot more lately and it's just been taking away time from doing other things that I enjoy doing but I'm grateful that I can work and I'm grateful that I can uh, just make some extra income so I won't complain about that but as far as everything else, it's sometimes a little bit stressful to try to get everything in. And I'm still grateful that I can get these early runs in and and really just not think about anything other than just running, breathing, making sure that I'm on pace. And even like the speed workouts, just trying to maintain certain speeds and all that good stuff but yeah I haven't really picked up my camera this week just because I, I really just haven't been thinking about it as much just really focused on just doing the workouts and getting to doing the work that I needs to work that needs to be done and then making sure I can at least get in the gym at least 30 minutes sometimes it's only 30 minutes just because I don't have enough time to be there longer than I want to because I have other obligations that I need to do so it can be a lot sometimes but I try to balance things out and it's a little bit hard sometimes and a little bit overwhelming sometimes but really not letting that get to me and just taking it one day at a time and enjoying the process and learning from it but also reflecting on a lot of things that's one thing that running does for me when I do these uh, solo runs and today isn't a solo run but when I run by myself or when I'm at home at night just thinking I'm, I'm reflecting a lot trying to figure out more about myself the reasons that I do things why I do things and trying to consistently improve on who I am and really just be a better person because I we all have flaws and I have flaws and I know that I can improve and the more I learn about myself and the reasons I do things I can try to improve them and make little changes in my life with small steps because it isn't going to happen overnight and I know that but I think consistently doing something about it will 
make changes in the long term. So, yeah, that's kind of been my thinking lately. And I know this has nothing to do with running, but it's just something that I've been doing a lot, just reflecting on, on a lot of things and trying to understand more about myself because I do like learning about that kind of stuff I think it's important but I also find it very interesting um but yeah I'm about to go get this 20 mile run in right now um I got like 10 minutes before I have to hit in but I'm gonna start hitting in now and get some light not even stretching but just I don't know what you'd call it anyways I'm gonna go get that in and I will check back in a little bit later. I have a couple of things that I might do today. I might not. It just depends. But I'll let you guys know as the day goes by. And yeah. All right. So I just, oh, I just got a cramp. <laughs> That's what I just got. Oh, okay. So I just got home. All right. I feel like cramp right now, but. I just got home, I finished the 20 mile run and I had a little bit of a kind of a mix up in the beginning so I actually went to the wrong spot because we were meeting somewhere else and I completely forgot and I ended up getting there like five minutes late so they had started without me and I had to play catch up for uh, I think like three miles and then I was able to catch up the group so I had to pick up the pace a little bit in the beginning but honestly it wasn't really a big deal and ended up finishing the 20 miles in 707 pace. I'll put in uh, my data, whatever it's called, on the screen. And yeah, really good run. I had some pickups at the end uh, just to sh really see how I would feel. And the legs honestly feel really good. Like I'm happy that my legs are, are feeling good for these really long runs and just getting comfortable being on my feet for that long and yeah I'm glad that we, we've been able to build up to this and it's only gonna get you know longer not that much longer just 22 miles but I do have a down week next week so I'm excited but I'm not excited because it's always the down weeks when I want to run more so it's just gonna have to really uh not do that so yeah, I finished those 20 miles and I just got home. I'm going to shower up. Um, these Mach 5s honestly felt... They felt good. Like, I I like them so far. I know that a lot of people use them for easy long runs or just easy runs in general. And, and they feel good. But the thing I did notice was they feel extra, I guess... I don't know. My socks were a lot more sweaty than usual. I usually run in Sockneys, which are my favorite shoes to run in, but I, I sweat in those too, but I sweat a lot less. Maybe it's just less padded on the top or something, um, but so far I like them. I mean, no complaints, had no issues with them, didn't have to break them in or anything, just put them on and did my first run in them today. So yeah, really good run. I'll update you guys more on what this whole week looked like, but I might mix it up a bit here and there, so I'll check in in a little bit. Okay, so it's been a couple hours since I've last picked up my camera. It's it's already about to be 3 p.m. And uh, I've just been super busy with a lot of errands I need to take care of. And finally cleared up some time and I'm about to head to the gym right now. Honestly, I'm probably going to do a little bit of everything just because I, I feel really good after this long run. Like, I don't feel any more exhausted than I do on a typical run. So... I feel good. I'm definitely going to do some lower body stuff and some upper body stuff. I'm not too sure what exactly, but I'll let you guys know what I end up doing after the workout. Um, yeah, I don't really have any other updates other than that, so I'll check back in in a little bit.
right, so I know this is a little bit of a different format, but I kind of wanted to switch it up just so you guys didn't have to see me sitting in a chair for the whole time. And I also wanted to just switch it up and see how this went, just have some training footage over the voiceover. I've been wanting to do a voiceover for a minute, so I thought I'd do a voiceover today. But I want to go over this week's training and what it looked like and just give you guys a little bit of detail as how everything went. Just so you guys know what I ended up doing for the week, but we'll go over that now. Uh, Monday, it's usually easy, easy days, nothing crazy. I did eight miles at an eight minute and two second pace. Just kept it real light. Um, and now Tuesday, it was also, I would say, a pretty easy run. We ended up doing 10 miles. Wait, was it 10 miles? Let me double check. No. On Tuesday, I ended up doing 8 miles with some pickups. Uh, 8 by 30 second pickups. And that ended up being a 7.33 pace for the whole run. It wasn't too bad, it was pretty pretty steady. Um, nothing hard. And then I actually ended up doing an extra 3.25 miles in the evening just to get some extra miles in for the day. And I just kind of felt like running, so I ended up doing three, a little bit over three miles. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, going into Wednesday, I had another easy run, same 8 miles at an 8.15 pace, so a little bit slower, but I kind of wanted to just uh, keep it light, and then I ended up doing an extra 3 miles a little bit later on in the day, uh, same, I, I've, I've kind of been playing around with doing doubles, uh, not every day, but just because I know that my mileage has to go up. So I've been playing with that and it's been it's been pretty pretty good I would say. But also to Thursday we were gonna have a little bit of a harder workout. So I kept it light in the morning, which was why I had an eight fourteen pace, whatever I had said. But yeah, so going into Thursday, uh we had fourteen by four hundred meter hill repeats at half marathon pace with moderate effort jog recovery of 30 seconds um, more than the duration of the time it took us to run the 400 uh, meters and for me that was pacing a uh, minute 30 to a minute 35 for the 400s so that would put me like at like a six minute pace for the half marathon pace and those were those were hard. I I was hurting pretty bad and I wanted to kind of just stop early, but I didn't. I finished strong and I kept it around 128 to 132 pace and I'm glad that I, that I was able to do that and I finished relatively strong with 125, so I still had some nice kick in me, uh, but it, it was hard, I, I won't lie. Uh, that was Thursday, and that was a total of 10 miles for, for the whole thing with with the repeats and the warm-up and the cool-down. So, yeah, I took Friday off um, just because I I was at a good mileage for, for the week. And then uh, Saturday was the 20-mile long run. Um, like I mentioned, I was a little bit late. So I had to play some catch up and ended up doing the 20 miles at a 7.07 pace. And I had some pickups towards the end at miles 17 and 18 and 19, um, which was, I worked down to 6.20 pace. And then for the last mile, I kind of slowed it back down to a 7.06. But that run felt really good, honestly. like. My legs felt heavy during some parts of the suction and then it kind of went away and I was good. I I was obviously really tired, but the run overall felt really good. Like I'm, I'm happy that I can push 20 miles and still feel relatively good. I did have two gel packs and some water here and there, 
every two and a half miles or so. Um, sips, obviously. And the two gel packs did their work. I'm sure I'll eventually have to do three, but so far two have been have been doing the job and the bread that I had ate that morning, uh, I really didn't notice a difference. Maybe I should eat the whole bread next time. Uh, but for the week, I ended up with a total of 60 miles, a little bit over 60.4, which, which was good. I mean, the week prior I had hit 55, so jumping up to 60 was was nice. I was that's why another reason why I took Friday off because I knew that if I did it I would have been probably like at 65 to 70 which I honestly probably would have been able to handle it but I just kind of been doing slow increments and maybe I should have done it I don't know but I do have a down week coming up so the 60 is gonna come down 25% which is gonna come down to 45, 45 miles for the week. I'm doing the math now. Yeah, 45 miles for the week this week, so nothing crazy, just gonna keep it real light. I'm sure we'll have some harder effort workouts and I'm sure I'm gonna be hurting real bad, but that's the week. Um, I hope that this has been pretty informative and if anyone has any questions, I can definitely go into more detail. I um, I'm trying to do my best to put as much detail into the into everything that I say, but I know that sometimes I can forget things. I'm pretty forgetful, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this format. I know it's a little bit different, but I'm just trying to figure out what I want to really want to film and how I'm going to go about filming it, and I'm sure I'll learn as the time goes by, but. That's all I have for you guys today, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Okay, I just finished up the workout. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit of a different format. Uh, kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit just because I don't want to always record the same thing, and uh, I haven't done any running footage, but I plan to do that eventually. Uh, I just don't want to do it with everyone around. I don't want to interfere with people's workout and make it weird and stuff. And it's also weird for me. But running this week was really good training. Everything. I can't complain. I, I ended up with uh, 60 miles, like I'm sure I mentioned. But didn't get to hit the gym as much as I wanted. But we have to do with what we can. So, um, yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.